lovely friends welcome to creative art i am nilima and in today's tutorial we are going to make this amazing beautiful seashell wall clock since childhood i have this hobby of collecting seashells and even after these many years i never had this beautiful and great collection of seashells which i bought online from itsy bitsy craft store and now friends you can also buy the same beautiful seashells on a discounted price from itsy bitsy dot in just by using my code which is nilima5 n-i-l-i-m-a-5 so friends do watch the complete tutorial to make this beautiful seashell wall clock for yourself and if you are participating in the itsy bitsy contest 2021 this would be a great idea for the home decor collection so friends do subscribe to creative art and do press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on the recent art form and to know more about the itsy bitsy contest do check out the link in the description box below so now friends let's see all the materials i'm going to use to make this beautiful seashell clock to make this amazing looking beach look clock first of all we're going to need a base and for that i'm going to use a 14 inch pvc clock face so i'm using this one because it's light in weight and this time i'm going to use a 5 mm thickness base you can also use 8 or 10 mm it's your choice instead of this one you can also use mdf board base that is your choice next to make this clock we're going to need a few clock hands these two are hour and minute hands of different two designs this is a baby hand and this one is a straight hand and this is a clock hand for second you're definitely going to need this two pair or this two pair and definitely a clock machine to make this clock next are all the decorative things we are going to need first let's start from the chalk paint this is chalk acrylic paint sandstone color from little birdie this is the closest color i got for sand and i think this would be perfect for priming our base next is deco magic premium decoupage glue so there is an alternative of a decoupage magic glue you can also use clear resin but i'm going to use deco magic premium glue so that we can mix it with sand and stick all the seashells we have without changing any color of sand so that is the reason i'm going to use glue not resin next are all these collection of beautiful shells we can buy from little birdie they do have this packet it's of 250 grams which contain all different types of shells and this is how beautiful they look i definitely think they would look better if i clean them in water a flat hair brush few pearls few other styles of shells uh, this is a wall mounting metal hook we are going to need to mount our clock and few clock screws so this entire range of clock is called clock makers which is from a little birdie other than that we're going to need a few numbers as it is a clock or else you can also use this kind of glass balls which can act as markers all these materials will be linked and listed in the description box below so that you can buy them online and friends, if you use my code, which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5, you will get an additional 5% off on your entire purchase from itsybitsy.com. Now let's start the tutorial. First of all, let's put these shells for cleaning. Then add some soft cleaning agent like hand wash or dishwash soap anything will work add water move them a little and then let them dip for an hour till that let's start priming our base and this is our pvc clock face base now using the home decor collection from itsy bitsy chalk acrylic paint sandstone color i'm going to prime the space using a flat hair brush now i will let the space get dry for at least one to two hours till the chalk paint is completely dry and turns out smooth 
Now I have finally completed washing all the seashells and this is how all of them look. Actually they were already clean. I just wanted to make sure. And the nicest thing about this mixture of uh, seashells were they were just in so good condition. Nothing was broken. They didn't even had extra sand or any kind of dirt. I could have directly used them. But as this was my first time, so I just gently rinsed them off. And here is our base also ready. I have already let it get dry for two hours. And now we are ready for our DIY project. So here I have my Deco Magic Premium Deco Page Glue, the glossy one. Two bags of sand. Other than that, I have also some extra sand with myself. This time, I'm directly going to spread out a lot of glue all over the base. And now, using paintbrush, spread out this glue. Now, I'm using sand and sprinkling it on the glue in this way. We do want a lot of sand. Now I'm using a palette knife and spreading out the sand. We don't want an entire even structure but we do want the sand to be all on the surface. Now after preparing the sandy base, let's mix up some extra sand with decoupage glue. So add all the sand in a container. Now add Deco Magic Premium Decoupage Glue and using a stick or a spatula, mix the sand with decoupage glue in this way. It should form a thick paste like consistency. This is how the consistency should look after mixing. The glue is holding the sand and this is how the color of sand looks so that it can hold its structure. Now using a spatula I will gently start spreading out the sand and give it a wavy shape. Now using this palette, give the sand outside direction so that this lighter sand may look like an outsplash of water. This is how I have started arranging all the seashells. Either you can apply some extra decoupage glue or directly start placing the seashells if it is already wet, if the surface is already wet with glue. Just select the pieces you want to place and then press them in sand. In the same way, keep on placing more and more seashells.
and in the same way I'm going to end up this with a few seashells now this is how beautiful our beach theme clock looks when I have finally completed placing all the seashells. I did try placing different patterns using different types of seashells, sometimes making flowers, sometimes making different type of seashell patterns and this is how everything looks. So now friends, uh, we have to let everything get dry for at least two days because now it's finally been 24 hours and I can see that the glue is completely dry. All the things are on place but still the color of sand is a little different than usual. So I will let it get dry completely for at least two days so that everything gets dry and settled and then I'll show you how does it looks. Okay. Now finally friends, it's been two days and this is how beautiful, beautiful our seashell clock looks. Everything is dry. This is how the color of sand looks. It is quite hard as I can say. The sand has got quite nice and hard. The shells are on place. They're completely intact. I love the design I did but now I think that I should definitely protect and secure the entire clock piece as you can see we do have different patterns which are uplifted from the base like this big shell this one this pieces definitely this standing shell so now friends to secure everything on place and also to protect it from dust I will be doing one extra step which is to use a resin and secure everything on place you can also use the same piece without doing resin but you have to use this piece for indoors only but if you live in a place which has quite dust and pollution problem as well as if you want to place this piece outdoors of your home you should definitely try this step so now friends let's start mixing some resin now before pouring resin i'm going to use a masking tape and secure all the side of the corner so that the resin does not overflow outside i'm going to pour quite amount of resin on this palette and due to the uneven surface and settlement of different seashells i am unknown about the exact quantity so being sure in this way would be really safe So now our base is secured and this is how I have placed a support beneath our base so that uh, the base is lifted up and we can easily pour the resin without throwing out. For the center as shown in my previous video I'm going to just keep a cone like this a plastic cone. This cone easily resists the resin from flowing through the center point as well as it will be easy for us to remove from the center point. So now friends let's start mixing some resin and then pour it. Now first of all let's start by measuring some clear resin. For that I'll place an empty cup on our measuring unit. Press the button to tear zero. So first of all I'm going to add at least 100 grams of clear resin in our container and 100 so here we have got finally 100 grams of resin then add 50 grams of hardener which will make it complete 150 so here you have got the ratio of resin and hardener which is two parts of clear resin and one part of hardener so here we are adding 100 grams of clear resin and then 50 grams of hardener the same process can also be done using a measuring spoon for which you can use two spoons of clear resin and one spoon of hardener and then finally we have to mix it really well so here i'm going to use an ice cream stick and mix the complete content for at least five minutes now for mixing resin for at least five minutes this is how clean and clear it looks automatically all the bubbles are starting to come on the top so now let's start pouring all this clear resin onto our clock base here my clock base is ready it is on a certain height i have sealed all the sides using some tape so the resin won't flow outside and 
For the center, I have sealed it up using a plastic cone. Now gently, I'll start pouring the resin on the seashells first. Keep a little bit extra and then use a brush to gently move the resin on all the seashells in all the different parts. Now once we have completed pouring all the resin and spreading it out on all the shells, use a gas torch like this and gently go all over the resin just within few seconds to pop out the bubbles if there are any. It is finally done and now we will let this resin get cure for at least 24 hours and then I'll show you how does it look. Okay? And now finally after 24 hours the resin is completely cure and this is how beautiful our clock looks with this shiny shiny look of a resin on all the seashells and sand. It feels so nice to touch on the smooth surface as well as the shells which are coated with resin looks so shiny. Now this something we can call it permanent because nothing is going to move from here. No shell will this place or come out or lose this beautiful shine you can definitely consider this part everything you did handwork as permanent so now friends let's complete this clock by adding a clock machine clock hands and hanging screw on the back first i'll start by adding a hanging screw from the back you see i can definitely lift up the entire piece just by my hand because this is so strong and it has such a nice support i have also placed these markings these glass markings 12 3 6 and 9 so this is how i'm going to place it so i'm going to do a marking right here Now I have finally completed my marking. Here I have different two sizes of a screw. This is 3 mm and this is 6 mm. Now let's start fixing the clock. So here I have this wall mounting metallic hook, piece of two and screws. I'm going to use 6 mm screw to mount the hanger. Here we have one, two, three, four four screws so there are two options either you can place it on two sides or you can place it right here one and then right here two but before that let's fix this machine so this is how the clock machine looks you have to take out this top ring out of it and then insert this part through the hole through the hole you have got here tightly fix it up use a two side tape stick it here and then place it this time as this clock has quite some volume so i'm going to simply fix it using some tape now currently i have just fixed it up using some tape i'm going to keep this part open because i'm going to need this screw to work for me when i am setting the time our machine is fixed now let's fix this piece make sure that exactly this should be in the center and then place the screws first just give it a little press so that the screws are right on place like this and now use a screwdriver I'm going to keep it like this a little loose will help me adjust with the thickness of clock now let's put the clock from the front side using this small part of screw 
turn your clock in this way now i have finally completed fixing this final screw so let's start placing the clock hands first will come the hour hand then the minute hand and finally the teeny tiny small second hand i'm going to place everything 12 o'clock wise because this will exactly start your clock on time and then finally this beautiful piece now let me put the battery in from the back side and then I'll show you how our clock works. And now friends, this is how beautiful, beautiful our seashell resin wall clock looks. I absolutely love what I made and I'm so excited to place it on my wall. The machine I used here is a sweep machine and that's why the second hand is rotating so swiftly. It looks so cool and it's so noise free. It won't shake like tick tick and make any noise it's so smooth and I just love the entire thing we made the glossiness on all the seashells is just because of this resin and I feel it was a great idea because the resin has made all the seashells permanent it is never going to fall and the best thing about it is when you cover the entire art piece using resin it gives you a hundred percent chances of a longer life and you can easily wash the entire piece you can just remove the clock hands and machine from backside as i have shown you previously and then you can wash the clock base and put back your clock again and this is going to last for forever you can use it indoors as well as you can use it outdoors and friends if you are a seashell collector like me this is a must have thing for your collection trust me friends looking all the seashells together like this makes me feel so happy all the beautiful colors the pink white brown and this dotted ones they look so lovely lovely and i hope you even think the same about this beautiful clock so do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial and if you do like my tutorials friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching